Yo, what's up guys, Chris here from Affinity Collective. Today I'm going to be going over the Applied Energistics mod and how to set up a basic network. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need an ME controller, then you're going to need an ME drive, and an ME access terminal. And for all your cables, you're going to need just regular ME cables, import buses, uh, precision import buses, fuzzy import buses, and ME storage buses. And all these have also export buses, but I'll go over all that good stuff later. So for the first thing that you're going to need, you're going to need power to... Uh, power your network and luckily applied energistics is pretty universal so you can use RS, MJs, UEs, whatever power setup you have most likely will work as long as it's big enough because these things start to eat up a lot of power as they get bigger and bigger. So the first thing I'm going over, I have an ME controller here hooked up by some redstone energy conduits, plonk that down, right click on it, it's going to give you this nice little interface. So it's going to have ME controller, it's going to tell you if it's online or offline, energy stored, um, and energy used. So the energy used uh, right now is at 9.0 AE per tick and it's going to increase as I add everything and in this little window right here it tells you everything that's connected to your network so I have an ME drive and an ME access terminal hooked up right now. So coming over to the ME access terminal it's going to show you all your items and everything you have stored in here. Right now though for oh, I can't store anything and that's because you're going to need uh, storage in your ME drive. So for this thing you can use ME1K storage, ME16K storage, ME64K storage, and I'll put a link in the description to the wiki page that tells you all the math on what different types of things you can store for each one. So if I go ahead and plonk four of these 64K storages in here, now on the ME drive you'll see four of the bays are lit up, and now I can store stuff in here. So already I can store some sky stone bricks, surge quartz, um, sky stone bricks, and I'll throw two chests in there. Now, great thing on the left side over here, you can do different sorting and searching. So you can sort by name, number of items, priority, item ID, and then you can also toggle the sort order so it can be greatest to least, least to greatest, all that good stuff. And you can also view stored or craftable, and that's going to be a more advanced thing later on. So coming back out of there, um, one thing I'm going to show you is in the ME drive, if you notice the ME storage, it now has... 1,537 of 65,536 bytes used um, and three types so I have three different things in my access terminal and will show up on the storage now using um, different import and export cables you can add inventories and such so coming over here I'm just going to show you guys how some of these basic cables work so have that set up and I have this ME storage bus right here so before I do anything, I'm going to show you guys that I have all this, I have three different types of copper and a spruce wood in here. And I have this storage bus, just a regular ME storage bus. Now what the ME storage bus does is it adds inventories into your network. So in here, just by adding this, it's going to not do anything actively. It's just going to sit there passively and it's going to act, um, add just this inventory access to here. So if I go ahead and hook this up with some ME cable with the ME storage bus by the way you can use your quartz wrench from Applied Energistics and switch those around um, by right clicking on it to get it to face the way that you need so go ahead and do that so coming back over here now in my first in my ME controller it's not going to show that I have 8 ME cables and 1 ME storage bus and I'm up to 18.5 AE a tick compared to 9. So everything that you add, it's going to add power. That's why you need a large um, power supply. Honestly, I said just big reactor, pretty easy, pretty stable. Um, so I'd definitely try and get that. It's RF. Um, but coming into my access terminal, now the storage bus added all the stuff in there, the wood and the copper. So that's what that does. That's pretty handy, and you can add multiple chests. It works with pretty much any storage unit. Anything that has an inventory will work just by plonking a storage bus on there. It will add that inventory into your network. So getting rid of that, let's say I then wanted to import the items from this chest into my network. To do that, I'm going to use a basic import bus. Now, the difference between import and export. Whenever you use an import bus, you're importing things into the computer. And when you're using an export, you're exporting things from the computer. So, importing, you're taking things in, exporting, taking things out. 
So for the ME basic import bus, if I just go ahead and I plonk that down on there, what it's going to start doing, it's going to start just taking items one by one out of this chest and throwing them into my computer. Now you might say, hey, what if I don't want that? What if I only want specific items to come out? Well, you can take that away, and now in here you're going to see all the spruce that was taken out. But then I can go ahead and I can have precision import bus. So go like that. And then all you have to do is you right click on the ME Precision Import bus and you can throw things in here that you want specifically taken out. So let's say I only wanted the copper um, electric craft ore. And right now it's just taking it out because I haven't put any filters in. So if I go ahead and put that in there, that filter in, it's not going to stop taking everything out except for the electric craft copper ore. It's going to leave everything else alone. And then you can add more and more um, up to eight filters for each and you can activate a redstone signal um, to your liking and you can also choose to move stack mode or um, stacks mode so in uh, move single items it would move one by one and move stacks it will move 64 at a time so now you can see it's not uh, importing anything in the computer but then if I go ahead and take that copper and I just go ahead and add that in there boom it'll now start uh, importing that into the computer and you're going to add and take those out to your liking. So the next thing here is the fuzzy import bus. Now what this does is it, it adds the OR dictionary to the um, specific thing. I'm going to take this out so they don't get all sucked in. But let's say I just wanted copper in general to be imported into my uh, network. So all I have to do is put one type of copper in there. If I go ahead and I add these two back in, it's going to start taking copper no matter what mod it is. It can be Mariculture, uh, Calclavia, or the Electric Craft, or whatever it is. It's going to start just sucking that in because it has access to the ore dictionary. Now this works with ores, woods, all that good stuff. So if you have spruce wood and you have oak wood in here, the fuzzy... Um, the ME Fuzzy import bus will allow all types of wood. So as you can see, it's now sucking the Mariculture um, copper ore into my computer. And coming over here, you can see it's all nicely do. I can sort that. So sort by uh, number of items, sip it 6464. It's all good to go. And you can search things. So let's say I wanted spruce wood. If you have a whole bunch of stuff in there, in this upper uh, right-hand corner, you can type in spruce, and it'll give you spruce back specifically for that. So now that we went over importing, now we're going to go over the exporting. So the exporting works in the same basic factor. So going over the ME basic export bus, I plonk that down. Now the export takes it from the computer and puts it into an inventory. So for example here, if I just right click on this, I put a copper ore in here from Electrocraft. And what it's going to do now is going to export from the computer and put just the Electrocraft copper ore into here. Very basic. So now I can go to the ME Precision export. This one allows for a little more leeway. What I do here is I right click on that. If I only want um, copper ore from Electrocraft and I only want, let's say, uh, Sorters Quartz Pillars, those are the only two things that will start exporting into there. Nothing else, no other kind of mod from Mariculture or whatever type of it, it is. Now that's handy, but let's say you want all your copper to come into here. So I'll get rid of that and you have your ME fuzzy export bus. Now once again the fuzzy export bus ha adds the ore dictionary to it. So boom, go ahead and do that. Now it'll bring all my copper. It doesn't matter what kind. As you can see it's Calclavia core, Electrocraft, doesn't matter what kind, it'll bring it in. So that's the exporting which takes it from the computer and puts it into an inventory. Importing which takes it from an inventory and to the computer how to power it, how to set up the storage, how to access it, how to search, do all that cool stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed. That's Applied Energistics and how to set up a basic terminal. I'm Grissom from Affinity Collective. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.